everybody welcome back let's go ahead and quickly solve this question from your CSAT paper a person X from place A and another person Y from place B set out at the same time to walk towards each other the places are separated by a distance of 15 kilometers X walks with a uniform speed of 1.5 kilometers and Y walks with a uniform speed of 1 kilometer per hour for the first hour 1.2 kilometers for the second hour at a uniform speed and with a uniform speed of 1.5 kilometers hour in the third hour so let's go ahead and quickly break this down okay so person x in the first hour is going to walk at 1.5 kilometers an hour whereas y is going to travel at 1 kilometer an hour for the second hour again x is going to be at 1.5 y is going to be at 1.25 okay third hour again 1.5 is going to be 1.5 fourth hour is going to be 1.5 and 1.75 for y again fifth hour is 1.5 and y is going to be kilometers an hour okay now let's if I have to quickly draw up and show it to you you have a and you have B with a distance of 15 kilometers between each other all right so if you go ahead and add up these two values you are going to have 1.5 plus 1 is going to be 2.5 kilometers 1.5 plus 1.25 is going to be 2.75 the next is going to be 3 you have 3.25 and then you have 3.5 okay now you go ahead and quickly add this up it is going to be 15 kilometers which means the distance has been covered with these within five hours all right now the question over here is the options that are provided are they take five hours to meet and they meet midway between a and b so statement one is already validated so statement one is correct now in order to solve statement two you simply have to look at the total amount x has traveled over five hours so since we know it's going to take five hours and we already have the values over here so 1.5 multiplied by 5 is going to give you 7.5 so if this is 15 kilometers 7.5 is traveled by a so obviously b has also traveled 7.5 hence certainly they meet midway so option 2 is also correct and hence your right option is c both 1 and 2